hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is ajili and i'm back with another video so today's video as you already know i'm giving you some slick latest ponytail hairstyles you've ever seen and trust me by the end of this video you are definitely going to be inspired by these numerous ponytail hairstyles in this video if this is your first time on my channel thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for clicking on my video and you're welcome to my channel but please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video all right so in my previous video i should concern about being demonetized in october 2020 and most of you in the comment section were so nice were so lovely like you guys showed me so much love trying to encourage me and all of that and i really 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 appreciate it so much okay i really 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 appreciate it it means a lot to me thank you Oh, so much so i have been seeing some videos on tiktok about people doing ponytail hairstyles and then at the end of the day after the ponytail hairstyles has served this purpose and then they take it down they get some bowed patches on their head okay so i think for us to be able to avoid this kind of things the best thing for us to do is to talk to our hairstylist and hairstylist that are also listening i think to get a very slight ponytail shouldn't be so tight whereby after the customer takes down the hair it will cause bad patches on the hair and the person can lose an entire a bunch of hair at one spot of the hair especially if those who do the high ponytails like this one and the previous ones so i think it's best if you are at the salon doing it like you've gone to the salon for your ponytail to be done for you i think it's best to speak up talk to your um, hairstylist how you want it and then maybe you guys can you know you can talk to her and tell her you don't want it so tight getting slick ponytail and style shouldn't be so tight it's from um ponytail hairstyles in the olden days and now in this modern days it's it's different because in the olden days we didn't have much of this glue and then sorry um okay glue other shoes glue glue and then hairspray and then um other things that we used to get a slick okay people used the hair spirits those days it was just a gel so they had to try their possible best to make it slick and at that time um, most of them didn't really know about using heat to get straighter hair i don't really know much but from what i know that's why um i don't really see most people with natural hair getting pony in the olden days okay it's in recent time that people with even natural hair are able to straighten their hair very straight like they've gotten perm hair and then they can do pony but still they are able to enjoy their pony days and then they are fine so i think getting a slick money too shouldn't be the matter of how it should look and all of that okay because it really really hurts me to get a ponytail hairstyle and then by the time i'll take down the style then i'll get a bowed patch it's really painful aside the pain of the sore or whatever that is because they're losing that much hair especially at the top of your head or the back of your like your ossipo it's not really the nip side but you know it's it's really painful so let's pick up when we go to the salon to get especially ponytail hairstyles or you know like something tight mostly when i go to my hair in the salon especially when it gets to, when they are breeding and it gets to my edges i really used to suffer um lose my edges whenever i breathe and then i will lose it 
and i'm not able to talk to them tell them to loosen it or make it lighter or not make it too tight i always keep quiet and then when i get home i'll be in pain and then the most annoying part of it all is that after you suffer the pain for days and it's over then your edges will start ripping off that's really bad so i started speaking up when they are breathing before they start i always tell them please i don't want you to breathe my edges so tight don't breathe it so tight okay because they always feel like if the hair is tight then the nicer it looks but to me whenever i braid my hair the first day i don't really feel it i only start enjoying my hair two weeks after braiding because at that time i'm getting new growths and stuff and that's what makes the hair nicer okay that's what makes the hair nicer it's not about how tight it looks and all of that that you are hurting yourself and then you are damaging your hair as in the process so we should be able to talk to our hairstylist and tell them what we want okay i saw one video on tiktok and it really really broke my heart the girl has very thick natural healthy hair and then she had that issue and it was so bad like it's so heartbreaking so please please something like this something like this ponytail is down you know please it's painful so when they are doing it and they are holding it and you feel pain talk about it tell them to 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 to, to release it and rehold it okay um, for you know most people don't even keep on it or stuff for too long some people keep it in for two weeks three weeks stops a month depending on the busy schedule of the person of the person or what the person is actually using the hair for but most people i know don't really keep ponytail hairstyles in for a very long time okay so the fact that you're not keeping in for a very long time the joy and other things can make you losing your hair at that spot very quickly so you're gonna say oh well, have you not keep it for long by the time i release it like so the pain you can endure but you destroy your hair in the process because these are gels and glues and spirits that they've used and spirits makes your hair dry okay so the one thing is that do not keep your ponytail hairstyles in for too long because if you think you're keeping it in for too long because you spent a lot of money making it then you are destroying your hair because spirits makes the hair dry even after taking it down and you know because they use gel when they, you take it down you have to use shampoo to wash it all out shampoo also causes dryness to the hair so after any time you have a ponytail hairstyle the best treatment you have to give your hair after you lose it is to really deep condition your hair okay so that you can replace the moisture that you lost from your hair and i'm very sure at this point you've really gotten yourself some or you've been inspired by any of these beautiful hairstyles that i've shown in this video these are not all the hairstyles i have i still have more but i don't want to make this video too long so i'm really sure that you've gotten 
you or you've been inspired by any of this hairstyle if not just stay tuned to my channel don't go anywhere because the next video i will shock you with the hairstyle that you will be willing to rock on your next hair day please before you log out of my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video please share this video to your friends and family to your hairstylist so that they can get hairstyles to help you with <laughs> you know what i'm saying thank you thank you guys so much i love you all have a nice day and be blessed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye